This video is going to be about the endosymbiotic theory, and if we think about um, the words that make up um, endosymbiotic, we hear endo, which is sort of like um, inside. You can think of endocytosis, you can think of an endothermic reaction, all sort of meaning uh, bringing something inside. And symbiotic, which reminds us of symbiosis. which is like uh, living together. In harmony. Something like that. Okay. Um, and so you can sort of combine that saying sort of living together in harmony uh, inside. And so we're gonna, I drew some pictures here to talk about the endosymbiotic theory. And so this is the theory by which um, we get how we get mitochondria and uh, chloroplasts. And the theory goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a uh, bacterial cell and another cell, and um, the big cell really wanted to eat the little cell, so it tried to eat it. It became sort of Pac-Man-esque and ate it via... phagocytosis, a type of endocytosis, okay, sort of large transport, and it ultimately surrounded that cell, its membrane surrounding that cell's membrane, and it pinches off such that you have the original cell with its own membrane inside the uh, larger cell uh, surrounded also by its own membrane. So here you have two membranes. around uh, that sort of single uh, cell there. Now, um, we think that, you know, usually this large cell would eat the other cell, but in this particular case, um, it didn't. And ultimately, uh, the larger cell reaped the benefits of the smaller cell, either it made energy for it, or it was a photosynthetic uh, sort of cyanobacterium, that did photosynthesis and made food for it. Um, but for whatever reason, which we don't really know, this cell, instead of being eaten, it was allowed to stick around and over time became dependent upon the other cell to the point where it could no longer live on its own. And it became very specialized only to do certain functions. So here, for example, that inner membrane is now extra folded and has become a mitochondria. something like that. And so this endosymbiotic theory explains why mitochondria and chloroplasts have um, each two membranes, an outer and an inner membrane, and have their own DNA separate from the DNA of, um, so we can just stick some DNA in here, have their own DNA separate from the DNA of the parent cell, and their DNA is circular, uh, similar to that of bacteria. And so this is the theory uh, that we use to try to explain how mitochondria and chloroplasts came to exist.